I did not start this with a goal of becoming what people call an influencer or anything like that. I just wanted a hobby and I always, always loved food. I'm Valentina Musi. I'm a food and lifestyle creator. I'm the person who writes Sweet Portfolio, which has evolved into a brand in lifestyle and food based in Miami. Sweet Portfolio started on Instagram, where I would cover the best desserts and foods in Miami. Now I cover events and hotels, travel. I try to give people the best recommendations in the cities I visit and in Miami. After I hit a certain following, about 10,000 followers, I noticed that brands started to reach out to me and offering paid sponsorships. That's when I realized that my Instagram and my page and my TikTok could potentially be a business. I still don't fully believe it. The fact that it grew and became what it is today, I think it was luck, but it's also hard work. You take a lot of time into editing, writing captions, and then also reading about food. When I meet business owners, they say I love your aesthetic, I love the colors, and I love how clean everything looks. I'm happy with where I am right now, but I definitely do want to change it up a little bit and continue evolving. The hardest thing about what I do is definitely having to educate people about how my recommendations benefit businesses. Hello, Andrew. Hi, Valentina. How are you? Good to see you. I'd love to try one of the cereal bowls. Of course. What flavor are you thinking? Mm. Well, maybe like two, three scoops of anything colorful. Is it okay with you if I go to the back? And of course, here, come on back. I will go visit a shop and I tell them, look, this is what I can do. And they do not believe me until I actually post about it. This is something that you can swirl so I can get a nice little action shot. That's super cute. And then they message me, thank you. I have X amount of new followers. I saw so many people show me the photo of what you got and say, I want that. They do not realize that this is an ad space, that it could be just as beneficial or even more so than old school ads. The first thing you do when you're looking up a business is try to find them online. And it does not look professional for people to look up my name or, or my brand sweet portfolio and just find a social media profile. And I thought I cannot be an influencer person without having a website, a portfolio online. We made my website just a few months ago and it's been a fantastic experience. The GoDaddy designers were very helpful when it came to building a website that matched my needs. The themes and how you can customize your page makes it so aesthetically pleasing. It was just the best option for me. A website allows me to have a portfolio. It allows brands to see a compilation of all of my work. And it also gives me a space where I can have a voice that goes beyond just the caption in a photo. I can write full length articles. I can give my readers the full recipes I post on Instagram. It kind of serves as a backbone to all of my platforms. Can I put it in the grill? Yes. The evolution of Superfolio has definitely been surreal to me. I cannot believe that I'm considered a creator. I cannot believe that brands want to work with me. I'm just very humbled by it and I'm excited to continue growing and evolving my brand. I know that I'm reaching that momentum and I need to take advantage of it. So we're here at Lure Fish Bar. Here we have their burger bash with two onion rings. Here is the, oh my God, I already did it once. It's just, <laughs> the thing I'm the most proud of is being able to create a community surrounding my brand. All the time. Nice. And then you have my light. We're constantly being bombarded with horrible news and corruption. And then there's this little space online, this little pocket where you just discuss food and food videos and you just get excited about Nutella and chocolate and cheese. And I think that a lot of people identify like my page provides them that little piece of joy they need to get through their days. I think success is being happy where you are. And I am definitely overwhelmed with joy of where I am right now. That is success to me. You think I'll finish it? Probably.